Rules regarding FM navigation and flight planning. Rule one: Cross-check the FM navigation accuracy. The FM position accuracy is essential for the proper functioning and validity of all FMS functions. Thus, cross-check FM position accuracy periodically, except when GPS is primary. Cross-check it whenever. GPS primary lost, or nav occur downgrade messages come up on ND. Cross-check it whenever a doubt arises on the validity of the FM position. Principle: Compare the bearing distance computed by the FM to a beacon with the bearing distance provided by raw data. Rule two. Ensure proper sequencing of the flight plan. Thus, monitor the two waypoint. In navigation mode, a two waypoint is sequenced when it is overflown. In heading mode, if the cross track is large, the flight plan sequencing does not occur, which ruins the FM predictions. Principle: More specifically, in heading mode, monitor the two waypoint and clear the undesired two waypoints. Here, Laku. Rule three: Keep a flight plan discontinuity only when desired. For example, when a radar vectoring is expected. Rule four. Anticipate your actions on the MCDU. Fly ahead of the aircraft. Whenever useful information is known, ATIS on ground, an alternative clearance is expected, or a circling is planned, insert it in the MCDU as soon as time allows it. Rules regarding predictions. Rule one. For predictions on time, speed, altitude, and fuel, the FMS assumes that the aircraft flies along the flight plan in managed navigation, and managed climb or descent modes. If selected heading track, open climb, or vertical speed modes are used, the FMS assumes an immediate return toward the flight plan, according a realistic trajectory. Note. VDev on the prog page follows the same assumption. Rule two: Use of vertical deviation. The vertical deviation is provided in descent as a round symbol yo-yo, and along a VDev scale in approach brick, where one dot represents one hundred feet. It represents the vertical deviation between the current altitude and the computed descent or approach path. Rule regarding the guidance. Rule one: Managed modes availability. The managed modes of the FG guide the aircraft along the FMS lateral and vertical flight plan. The speed target may be either managed, computed by the FMS. Or selected by the pilot on the FCU. Climb and descent modes correspond to a managed trajectory, and cannot be engaged in heading or track mode. Rule two: Re-engagement of nav mode. Nav mode may be armed at any time when heading or track mode is used for flight plan interception. The interception. Can occur only if the track crosses the active leg before the two-way point. Note: Nav mode engages as soon as the aircraft is less than one nautical mile from the interception point. When the track line does not cross the active leg, the interception will not occur. Rules regarding the displays. Rule one. ND displayed mode selection. The ND arc and rose navigation modes may be used without any restriction, 
if GPS is primary or FM navigation accuracy check is positive. If the FM accuracy check is negative, raw data has to be displayed on the ND. Rule 2. FMS monitoring in managed modes. When navigation mode is used, monitor PFD FMA for mode status, armed or engaged, and monitor ND for the expected trajectory and cross track. When climb or descent modes are used, monitor target altitude and target speed, monitor VDEV in descent and location of pseudo waypoints on ND.